Morning. This is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. Hope you're having a great day. Uh, what we're looking at today is gold trading about 1654, 1655. Uh, the technicals are changing in gold, and uh, as you know, we believe you should have been a holder in through here. So, in the, as you're looking at gold, you're seeing that gold is maybe well setting a base uh, for some upward movement over the next week or 10 days. Uh, part of the reason we think that is that uh, there has been more gold buying in China. Now, the reason I bring, bring this up is that uh, people buy gold in China for the same reason that they buy gold in Saudi Arabia or in Egypt. They buy gold because of fear. Of, and uh, the reason Chinese people are afraid is increasing internal political instability. As you know, we've discussed on many occasions a number of wealthy Chinese who are all set to flee the country. Uh, the aggressive, increasingly aggressive actions of the 610 office, which is the office specifically in charge of, of repressing uh, individuals inside China who seek freedom. So this gold buying is does two things for us. One is it points out uh, that uh, as that market expands, uh, the fear in China will produce even greater demand on diminishing supply. And secondly, of course, it indicates to us that the political instability is much more serious than the Chinese government is letting on. There were some new Chinese economic numbers out yesterday. Um, you know, we've got to take uh, numbers from uh, no free press, a communist dictated state uh, with a, more than a grain of salt. Uh, we think the situation in China is only going to grow worse until the communists figure out that you can't have a mix of communism and freedom. Where that leads China, I don't know. So we're looking for gold to stabilize and perhaps move upward a little bit this week uh, with the possibility of a big up move to close, the, close out the month. Uh, in Pakistan, the defense secretary has been uh, dumped. The reason Pakistan is important is, of course, it's a hotbed of terrorism. Uh, they have nuclear bombs in their arsenal, uh, and uh, they're not an ally of the United States. At last, the United States is finally realizing this. Uh, there was pretty clearly now an attempted coup in Pakistan, and the defense secretary was one of the ring leaders. We learned about this, of course, because the Pakistani ambassador to the United States uh, divulged uh, some internal Pakistani uh, communications to our State Department as a part of an effort to get this coup stopped. Uh, so far, so good. The coup has been stopped. Um, lastly, on the Euro side, uh, Fitch, as you know by now, uh, is concerned about a Euro cataclysm and whether European financial institutions will do all they can to prevent that. Uh, part of our view is the, the euro trading toward 120. It may get there before our predetermined, uh, our, before our projection. Our projection was that it would be there by the end of the year. Now it may, we think it may be summertime and the euro will be at 120. So uh, we don't know what the Europeans are up to. And one of the points we've been trying to make over the last month or so is the more we focus on what we can do in the United States to help the United States prosper, the better off we're going to be. We really can't run our fiscal and economic policy based on what's going on in Europe and China. I'm not saying the world's not independent, interdependent, but I am saying the United States can fix a lot of its own problems on its own. And if we keep... Uh, focus on ourselves. I think the U.S. is going to be in great shape, and if not in great shape, going to be in much, much better shape than any other part of the world. Go USA. Arnie Waters here. Waters Capital. Have a nice day.